Vimeo makes it easy to add captions and subtitles to your videos, enhancing accessibility and expanding your reach. Adding them is easy. Here's how. First, find your video and navigate to caption settings. Next, enable auto-generated captions if you'd like to include them. Keep in mind that this does require a paid Vimeo account. Then upload your custom captions if you have any. This is totally optional. So step one, go to the video's settings page and navigate to caption settings under captions and then closed captions. Next, enable auto-generated captions if you'd like to include them. Vimeo automatically detects the language of your video and offers auto-generated captions in that language. Currently, we offer English, Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Japanese, and Korean. Typically, they're enabled by default, but you can toggle them on or off or download them to your computer. These auto-generated captions are created using AI. They're really good, but they're not perfect. If you need to make quick edits to the words, just use the transcript tab. And if you need more accuracy, you have the option to order human-generated captions via our Rev integration, either in English or in other languages. Now let's upload your custom captions if you have any. Hit the plus button, then choose the VTT or SRT file from your computer's hard drive. Select the language of the captions and then choose whether these are captions or captions and subtitles. So what's the difference between captions and subtitles? Captions are in the same language as your video. They're designed for viewers who are watching without sound or have a hearing impairment. Subtitles, on the other hand, are translations of the dialogue in another language. So by selecting captions and subtitles, you're indicating that the file serves both purposes. Make sure they're toggled on. And now, if a viewer goes to captions on the player, they'll have access to that language. Continue this process for all the caption files you have, and they'll each populate in the player. And that's it. Your video is now much more accessible for non-native speakers or those with hearing impairments. 